Let's continue our discussion of the RPG-8 by looking at a few of the advanced features of this device. To start with, we can inject some extra notes into the pattern using these insert buttons. I'm going to play back a simple chord sequence, and we will turn on our hold button so that I can change the different insert knobs and we can see what they sound like. So put it in holds. And now let's add an extra low note. An extra high note. And now every three notes will add one extra note. And finally, every four notes will add two extra notes. And you can see the pattern in the window here. So that's a nice way of injecting some extra notes. The pattern area lets us take out notes, injecting rests into our patterns. I just simply turn off the steps that I want to leave out. And I can create rhythmic patterns. I can also reduce the number of steps. The maximum number is 16. So the pattern area lets me inject some rests into my arpeggios, creating rhythmic patterns. And the insert area causes the RPG-8 to insert some additional notes to create a little variation in your arpeggiated patterns. Let's take a look at recording the arpeggiator. We're going to record a simple sequence playing back the arpeggiator. Now let's switch over to our sequencer and see what actually was recorded. And if I zoom in on the clip that I recorded, you'll see very quickly that what was recorded were only the chords. And the advantage of that is that I can make changes to my arpeggiated pattern after the fact. So that works great if you want to be able to change the arpeggiated patterns later. But what if you want to actually record the notes that the RPG-8 is playing? Well, we can do that as well. We need to mark the area that we want to convert with the left and right markers, select the device where the notes get placed, and then choose the arpeggiator, and from the context menu, select Arpeggio Notes to Track. And if we look at our sequencer now, you will see on the Thor track between the left and right markers, the arpeggiated pattern has been converted to notes. And that lets me do anything I can do with a note lane. I can change notes, edit them, change rhythms, quantize, and so forth. So just to review, we've got the RPG-8 with five patterns, a rate knob, and a length knob. We can define the number of octaves. We can define whether single notes arpeggiate. We can shift the entire arpeggio up or down three octaves. We can define the velocity of the arpeggio. And we can use hold to have the RPG-8 continue to play a pattern even after we've let go of the keys. We have the ability to insert extra notes and to add rests into our patterns. And of course, we can shuffle the rhythm of those patterns. We can record the chords of the arpeggio and change the patterns later. Or we can send the arpeggiated notes to a track so that we can edit them like any other note lane. And that wraps up our discussion of the RPG-8.